Just can't talk about politics. All right. <laughs> yeah, don't get started on that. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Storm Hunters podcast. It's our is this is our first podcast of 2015? Um, Maybe our so. second. Um, we did one nine months ago. That's okay. Yeah. So yeah, we'll call it our second ish. Actually, no, that would have been that would have been at the end of uh, 2014 because it's September. So, anyways, glad you could join us tonight. We got a big show for you uh, this week. Um, we have numerous storm chasers. And uh, we got numerous storm chasers coming on tonight uh, in honor of uh, the upcoming ChaserCon uh, that is happening in Regina a week from tomorrow. And so uh, we thought, what better way to kind of promote it and get excited for ChaserCon than to have a big ensemble show uh, leading up to it. Uh, so we have numerous guests uh, prepped for tonight. Before we get uh, on to them, though, uh, we just want to cover a few bases. First of all, uh, throughout the show, we'll be taking questions. We have a couple of different avenues which you can submit questions over. Uh, we have Twitter up. We have at WeatherSask is our website uh, account. I'll be live tweeting the show through that account throughout. Uh, you can also tweet me on Twitter. Uh, but the best way to submit questions, which Stephen is monitoring, is on if you're on SaskatchewanWeather.ca, you can check out the uh, comments that are right below the stream player. Sign in there and submit comments, and we'll be running that live chat throughout the show and reading comments and questions from there directly. If you're on YouTube, directly on YouTube, there is also a uh, commenting method that you can use on there, and we will try and keep tabs on that as well. So whatever way. You try to, you want to connect with us, we will do our best to make that happen. Um, before we get going here, uh, we haven't had a show since uh, storm season 2015. And so, uh, Stephen, what was your favorite moment of 2015 chasing? Now that it is concluded, we're out of storm season, we're in post production of our web series, which we'll have more details on in the coming days and so forth. But uh, what was your favorite moment? Hmm. This is actually a tough one because I got to think about it. I remember the last time we went out, but that didn't really product didn't really bring us anything. I think we went to Capel. Oh, the la the very that last like one. The last yeah, that day. was that was the the nighttime one. Yeah. Yeah, we had a. Uh, we that was a. Yeah, that was basically what that was was a lightning chase. That was your favorite. Uh, not really. I liked. I just kind of like found it funny that we pretty much went to like the shittiest part of Coppell we could find, which was like the back of the SO gas station, and like we the middle of the night. Of we were in the. We were in the side with the like the SO sign above us. We sat there for what a good ten minutes, just trying to figure out what to do. Yeah, trying to get the stream to work. Yeah, that was frustrating. <laughs> if anything, I'd call that the most frustrating chase yeah, that was kinda funny. of the season. But um, I don't remember was it? There was one of my favorites that sticks out in my mind was when we went to went through White City and we went to that like there's a neighborhood by you have to go through White City to get to. Yeah, it's kind of a weird neighborhood with their own post office and like their cult or something. Yeah, uh, I don't remember which one that was, but that one was probably one of my the one I had the most fun in. Mm -hmm. I don't even remember if we got anything that day. Yeah, I think, well, we kind of did. It was a little bit of structure here and there, and I think that was it. Um, we're just in the process of getting everybody added into our uh, Google Hangout here, so bear with us, please. What about you? What was your favorite moment or episode? Um, that's a tough one. Um, I had an interesting uh, chase uh, late in August. So that was near uh, Echo Valley. We actually got some pretty good stuff on that one. We actually got to deploy the quadcopter on that, and so that was kind of a bit of a triumphant moment uh, for me uh, that we've been working towards throughout the season. 
one. You gotta hunt through a thousand of them. All right, so we'll get everybody added into our call here. Uh, for those of you who don't know, ChaserCon Canada is coming up uh, a week from tomorrow. First ever uh, Chaser convention in Canada, uh, not exclusive to Canadian Storm Chasers, but certainly the first of its kind uh, in the region. It's taking place in Regina, Saskatchewan, uh, at the Travel Lodge Hotel. Um, speakers include um, Justin Hobson from Manitoba, uh, Reed Timmer, uh, from Oklahoma, uh, who we're hoping to maybe connect with tonight. We'll see how that uh, works out. Reed's actually currently in South Carolina, I believe, uh, tonight. Um, numerous other panelists, a uh, few of which we're going to have on tonight, uh, talking about uh, severe weather media, storm chasing in general, and things like that. So those are just a few of the things that you can expect at uh, ChaserCon Canada. Uh, we're going to have Chris, Chris Ratzlaff on tonight who's going to um, hopefully kind of introduce us a little bit more into what is involved and give us some details on how uh, you can register if you're interested. I'll give you the website. It's chaserconcanada.ca, nice and simple. Uh, you can go on there, buy your tickets, and away you go. Uh, it's sure to be a great event. I'll be there. Not that that's really any extra incentive, <laughs> but <laughs> I would love to see you there. And, uh, and we want to make this first one a really great success. Don't sell yourself short, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think. What were you, um, would you say that there was a greater, a biggest disappointment, if you will, of the season this year? Something you were hoping to see and didn't see, or something that you thought would happen and didn't happen. Mm, I can actually truthfully say, not really, because I just kind of went into it, just saying, you know what? Like compared to last year, it, anything's good. <laughs> like, like yeah, the winner was, was just looking for something. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm I, I'm quite pleased with it. Like we didn't have a a lot of rain in the beginning of the summer. You know, we had that like drought. True, yeah, but yeah, that and I think that was, and that combined with uh, we had a, a week or two of pretty decent smoke mm -hmm, as well, yeah. which didn't, in some areas, I would say, in my opinion, inhibit some storm development. Um, but yeah, it's certainly, it, I think the season really, mm -hmm. there were a couple of storms at the beginning of the season that were quite entertaining. And so that was quite the promising. But uh, after that, I mean, it, it was kind of sparse and kind of got worried towards the end of the year, but we were able to, to rebound somewhat. I think the, but really, I don't think anybody can argue with this statement that it was the biggest action was seen by Manitoba this year. It was too bad we couldn't make it out to any of those, but but live and learn. Uh, okay, I think we got one person on our hangout here. Hello, Beth. Hello, how are you guys tonight? Not too bad, how are you doing? I'm decent, it's Saturday night and I'm on the computer. What's different, right? <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> We're just waiting for Ryan and Chris to get on here, but um, what are you looking forward most, of, since our main topic is ChaserCon Canada, what are you looking forward to the most uh, next weekend? Hanging out with everyone. It's like the best chaser convergence in Canada ever. <laughs> you can't argue with that. Yeah, no, it's going to, I think it's going to be really, really good. I mean, we'll be meeting people. I've never met you in person before, so. No, yeah, fun. exactly. There's, there's, and it's kind of interesting um, when you really sit down and think about it. There's a lot of uh, chasers that I think we can all say that we haven't actually had the chance to meet in person. And this is a, a prime opportunity to make that happen for sure yeah being able to meet everyone in the same room and you know i don't know potentially get drunk with each other who knows <laughs> exactly um i'm just going to do this
What's the weather been like in Calgary last week? Oh, uh, you name it, we've had it. I oh, mean, really? It was down really, really cold. We had a frost, and it was really, really warm. It was like 30 degrees, and yeah. Yeah, that's, that's kind of like us. We had we were up to, what, 27 yesterday? Yep. Today it was uh, probably 22 today. You guys are a little more humid, though, right? A little more moisture? I would say so, yeah. 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 Uh, it's supposed to be, I think it's kind of going away starting tomorrow, unfortunately. But uh, Welcome we to winter. Yeah, yeah, I like the heat as long as we can get it, but mm-hmm never stays <laughs> yeah and then you just hopefully we won't have a snowstorm for regina oh yeah we'll well, that. let's let's leave that till <laughs> yeah. november <laughs> yeah we'll say that don't we'll say that word <laughs> but we're good all right have this For some reason, people aren't getting my invites to my hangouts. I don't know why that is. For anybody uh, watching the live stream, if you're on SaskatchewanWeather.ca, you can comment in the feed uh, down below the player. Uh, feel free to tweet us as well. If you have any questions throughout the show, we're happy to uh, discuss them and answer them as best we can. Our main uh, focus uh, tonight is on ChaserCon Canada and kind of discussing and anticipating some different things uh, regarding that. Um, but really, this is a storm chasing podcast, so anything weather related goes. And uh, we're always happy uh, to talk about weather. Particularly bad weather. Precisely. <laughs> yeah. Good weather for us. <laughs> yeah. It's what we live for. Yes, it's true. And it's why we work lots of terrible jobs sometimes. <laughs> so, uh, Beth, uh, while I'm figuring stuff out here, maybe you could tell us a little bit about uh, your how your storm chasing season went uh, in Alberta. I remember a couple, at least on a couple occasions this year, checking my Twitter feed and check and seeing some very uh, active and interesting uh, things going on there in Alberta. You know, if you ask someone from the public. Um, they would tell you that it was a, a terrible year for storms because there were so many and tornadoes were everywhere and the world was ending and global warming is going to come and kill us all. Um, <laughs> which I've talked to a few people and they all really, really thought that. But, uh, you know, in terms of actual decent storms that storm chasers like to get, I don't know, guys. It was a pretty lackluster season. Um, you know, lots of tornado warnings around Calgary, but if you saw mm -hmm. the tornadoes, it was like, really, are those tornadoes? Like, yeah. where are they back there? Um, so, you know, in terms of storm season since I've been out here, it's probably the worst one we've had yet. Just lots of driving around in circles and rain and getting hailed on and stuff. But, uh, yeah. And that's, that's a very frustrating situation, too, when you, when you do seem to get, a, a day where you have an abundance of storms, but they don't really amount to anything, and you just kind of you spend your day back and forth trying to decide what to go after and where you're going. Well, there's no visibility, and everything's kind of a big soupy mess, and you're taking pictures of stuff that just looks like a gray backdrop. It's like, what the heck? Yeah, that, that's the most frustrating too. Is you're 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 trying to get this these photos and everything, and and then you're left with rain. Mm -hmm. and it's like, well, this. <laughs> I paid how much in gas for this, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But anyway, we've got one more person here, so that's that's Hi. a good thing. Oh, hey, Ryan. There we go. I was just Did about to me? send you an email, but I think we got it now. Yeah, you know, I usually use Google Hangouts for these things, but I just thought it would be a little simpler tonight, but. It doesn't seem it's to have really worked out that way. It's never simple when we decide to do a podcast. It's technology. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Always a step behind. Yeah, pretty much. So how's life, Ryan? Oh, it's been um, been interesting these last couple of weeks. How are you Overall, feeling? Ah, oh, better. I ate solid food today, so I'm happy. A hamburger? <laughs> First, uh, no, toast oh. and then some fish. <laughs> <laughs> the hamburger... The hamburger almost killed me. 
<laughs> All right. So that's, well, at least you know now. Yeah. So, uh, Ryan, I asked Beth this question already, but what are you most looking forward to uh, about uh, next weekend at ChaserCon? Uh, the people. The convergence. Uh, I said I think, the same I think, thing. Yeah, I think Beth said the same thing. That's just, just having everyone in one room to finally, you know, like, instead of having to drive 40 miles to meet a guy that way and a 40 miles that way to meet a guy that way, it's like we'll all be in one room. That's, that's, that's going to be pretty awesome. I think that in and of itself is, is a lot of incentive to go, that's for sure. Yep. It's almost like we could have nothing going on and no planned speakers, and we'd still all be excited because we'd be in one well, room. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. pretty much. <laughs> yeah. We, we, we would make it loud whether there's nothing to talk about or not. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> we just show each other pictures of storms. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, I've, I've been in, like, you know, bars and, and uh, restaurants with other chasers. We have three of us at a table, and we'd probably be louder the entire bar or, or restaurant, and we're all, you know, picking up our cell phone. Oh, look at this picture from this year, and we're all, like, <laughs> yelling in excitement as if we're actually there at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> Kitty says hi. He keeps playing with my cord. <laughs> <laughs> So, okay. Ryan, uh, what was your uh, highlight of your chase season this year? I know you chased a fair bit in the States again this year, and then in Saskatchewan. Mm -hmm. I don't recall if you ever made it to any of those Manitoba tornadoes or not. I was at Tilston. Uh, we were a little bit behind the thing. Uh, I think at one point when it first happened, we were driving on the highway going north, so we seen it from like a distance, and I'm talking about, like a couple miles away. Um, but we we were uh, we were waiting because we had some other people with us um, for well I would say for safety reasons because the one guy was in a car that another photographer um, Kyle Fowler and uh, the back roads weren't agreeing with him so we got him to go in another truck and these guys we were all kind of working together um, yeah it was and the, um, sorry <laughs> cast playing the cord um, yeah it was it was a good day um, interesting day a lot of events happened for sure. Um, definitely a, a heck of a way to end the chase season. Plus, it was just a really cool storm to see. That, did you see the lightning afterwards, Ryan? Seen some of the lightning. Um, I think we were, when it was lightning really good, I think we were around, um, I can't think of where we were anymore. Uh, we ran into Mark Robertson, actually NCP chasers we ran into as well. Um, at a gas station, and that's when I think they said the ta the tornado was still supposed to be on the ground northeast of where we're. Can't think of the t town at the moment. Verdon. Um, yeah, that might have been it. <laughs> yeah. That might have been it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's where it was. Probably, <laughs> probably where everybody ended up chasing. It was up, like the only open gas forward. station. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, the lack of gas stations in Saskatchewan, oh, and, and I guess in this case, Manitoba do kind of suck, you know, you, we would go, well, we almost did run out of Texas in 2014, that was a little tense moment, but uh, you can go pretty much anywhere and not run out of gas where, you know, I find from Regina to, well, Alberta, there's literally no gas station open after six, and, but the southeast east corner, I find, is not, not too, too bad, you know, there seems to be later gas stations. Or, as we discovered this year, card locks that actually take debit and don't, you don't need to have an account for. Oh, oh, really? really? Yes. We found a few of those this year. I'm having trouble even getting a cart lock. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just need a debit card, apparently. Feedback. Hello, Chris. Hello. Beat it. Yes. I think we got a little bit of noise going on there. I'm not sure on what end that is. Are you getting noise for me? It showed up when you got here. Uh, that doesn't seem to make any sense. Whatever. you got to put the glasses on. <laughs> They're in the car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it seems to be like a constant, almost helicopter type noise. That's Chris's helicopter. He won the lottery last night. <laughs> <laughs> He's just got it to show off. That's better. There we go. 
Yeah, that sounds good and clear now. Yeah. All right, so Chris, uh, I was hoping maybe for anybody who's watching uh, this who's wondering what they can expect to see uh, at ChaserCon, if maybe you could give a little bit of an overview of what's going to be happening uh, next weekend. Oh, he fixed it, but now he has no sound. That's why this sound. <laughs> That's his <laughs> microphone. Read his lips. <laughs> Oh. Maybe. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh. Oh. Did we have something there? Say something, Chris. I I thought hear me. Uh, yeah, yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah, you can hear me? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. right. All right, so uh, ChaserCon next week. Um, yeah, we're going to have uh, Reed Timmer. He's going to be opening for us in the morning. Uh, Justin Hobson is going to be sitting down and talking probably Ellie for a good half hour, I think. Um, and then in the afternoon, we're going to have a Chaser panel, a, uh, a media panel, where we're going to have um, Liz Pittman, Tiffany Lizze, uh Kelsey McEwen, and Brandon Houck uh, joining us to, uh, to talk Broadcast, broadcast, and uh, storms. And then in the afternoon, we'll have uh, after that we'll have uh, a photography panel, where uh, a bunch of us will be talking, photographing storms. And uh, the evening prior, we're going to have uh, a chaser show and tell, which is also known as storm porn. Come on. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> okay, so. Just for anybody wondering, where did this idea come from? I know there is an American sort of version of this, but what made you uh, guys interested in doing this now in Canada? Well, the American version is really far away. But also, it's, it's, it's really uh, somewhere that, as a group, as, as Canadian chasers, where we can get together. And, uh, and talk storms Canadian style. There's a lot of difference between Canadian storm chasing and American storm chasing. And uh, it's just nice to be able to, to share some of what uh, makes it different for us. But also talk about uh, talk to some of the chasers who chase across the border back and forth quite a bit too. Um, but the idea started to come up, I think, last year, uh, last at the end of last season. And really it started with uh, what can we do to keep ourselves busy during the, uh, during the winter months. Because it's a long, 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 long winter season. It's a long winter season. Eleven months isn't that bad. <laughs> <laughs> totally manageable. Yeah. Now you're just making me feel bad again. <laughs> <laughs> Only eleven months to go. <laughs> yeah, start the countdown. <laughs> yeah. I think it's already started. Yeah. Christmas music in the retail store is coming soon. <laughs> But that's really what, what, what it boiled out to, is, is keep us busy um, and find ways to get us together during the, uh, during the off season. Very cool. So uh, for people who are wanting to uh, register, can they still do that? And how can they do that? Oh, yeah. So they can still register. They can go to ChaserCon Canada to, uh, to register, chaserconcanada.ca. Um, and we'll be able to register, take registrations right up to the day of the event. Um, we've got an event posted on the ChaserCon Canada Facebook page. Uh, we're linking to it from Twitter. Uh, you can get to it pretty much anywhere you want now. So then uh, this starts at 9 in the morning, correct? And this goes right into the evening? Correct. Uh, we'll start opening, uh, we'll, we'll th start taking registrations at 8.30 in the morning on Sunday, which will be probably painfully early, I think, for a lot of us. After Saturday night. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I mean, get registered. There'll be a little bit of uh, there'll be some juice and uh, drinks available in the morning. Uh, we'll be providing lunch at noon, um, and then we go straight through until uh, until four or five p.m. And lots of awesome. gifts and baskets that started to show up as well, which is pretty exciting. 
There's a gift basket from Prairie Storm Chasers. Um, a couple other things just showed up in the last half an hour that I'm that we're going to announce pretty soon. And uh, and DVDs, you have Blu-rays from uh, from TVM, which is going to be pretty exciting. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Sounds like lots of cool stuff. Um, if you guys just want to go ahead and talk amongst yourselves for a little while, and we're just going to get a couple things sorted out on our <laughs> end here. Tie down some wires. Uh, Steven, uh, let me know if we have any questions on the live chat there yeah, as well. Yeah, well. Should probably put and for anybody there. watching, if you've got any questions, uh, if you want to get any more details about uh, ChaserCon Canada, now's your chance. If you want to just talk about, reflect on the storm season of 2015, we're game to do that as well, so you can comment uh, below if you're on saskatchewanweather.ca or tweet me is also an easy way to uh, get those through as well. It's all easier than joining into Google Chat. <laughs> I don't yeah. know, guys. It wasn't that hard. <laughs> you just had to click the button. <laughs> I didn't get the button. <laughs> Says the technical guy. The guy who works is like a technical person. <laughs> you were fired, Chris. No more for you. <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs> that might actually... Don't break it. We just got it working. <laughs> <laughs> so how's the weather in Airdrie, Chris? Um, it looks hardly cloudy. A little bit of a sunset going on down there. It's not too much different, I think, from the air weather in Calgary. No, it actually looks pretty similar, I bet. Yeah. yeah. How's your weather, Ryan? Uh, it's been not bad. Today was a warm day. Uh, I think we were like 27 degrees yesterday or the day before. <laughs> um, That's pretty yeah, nice. It's, yeah, it's definitely nice. We even had Mammatus clouds this morning. Right it's over Norton. It's through 11 months of no storms. <laughs> yeah, well, hopefully we have uh, last year's, well, October 27th, my birthday. I got a, That's when I got my wide angle lens. And uh, that very day, we had a nice mammatus clouds with a bit of shower. So I got to take my first photo on October 27th of a storm. Nice. I can never argue with that. No, absolutely not. Especially Pretty when rare. you know the snow is right around the corner. <laughs> yeah. No, don't say that word. It doesn't <laughs> exist. Stop it. <laughs> it was just cold. like 20 degrees today, Ryan. I can't think <laughs> about snow. <laughs> well, they brought pale. snow up how many times so far? <laughs> <laughs> we'll make it no. It's difficult not to at this time of year. You're worried about it all the time now. Yeah, but the good news is, Chris, we've already had it. Like twice. Yeah, really. Eh? Yeah, so we got the we got the big pain over with. Uh, okay. <laughs> It'd be good for the whole season <laughs> now. Yeah. yeah, we need no more. We're good. I think it'll be still be pretty painful when it shows up. <laughs> anyway, okay, so Ryan and I both had to talk about this, Chris, so I'm going to ask you the question. Um, <laughs> what are you most looking forward to at ChaserCon Canada? And you can't say convergence. <laughs> why not? I already gave my answer. That's why we put it together. Okay, not convergence. I'm not looking forward to convergence. I'm looking most thing, forward the to... The one thing you're most excited about. Oh, it's got to be seeing, listening to Reed talk. Like if I can't choose one of the others, it'll be sitting down with Reed. He's always exciting. I've never heard him speak before, so yeah, it'll be exciting. I've heard from people who said they've heard him a few times, and they still get excited listening to him, so I'm looking forward to that. Are we going to see, do you think are we going to see any injuries from his level of excitement? <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, what I'm most worried about, what, well, worried, no, what's going to be most interesting is the media panel. Mm -hmm. Brandon Houck with Tiffany, with Liz, and Kelsey. That's going to be interesting. And I'm sure there's going to be some very good answers to some very good questions. Absolutely. We'll be <laughs> recording all of it. <laughs> Excellent. Are we live streaming at all? Do you know? Or are we live tweeting instead? Um, I believe there will be some live streaming happening. Um, nice. nice. Nothing that I've set up yet, but I know, I mean, para, I'm sure there will be many Periscope streams going out of the hotel. <laughs> as long as the <laughs> Wi-Fi is working. <laughs> it is hotel Wi-Fi. That's, that's always the risk. <laughs> always. Yeah. So um, how was your storm season then this year, Chris? My storm season was 
pretty pathetic. <laughs> um, a couple of good storms, but yeah, for the most part, it's been it was it was pretty quiet. You know, we were getting excited about some stuff that we don't usually get excited outside of May. <laughs> Yeah. Or April. Or April. Or October. So, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it was okay. There was there was some there was some pretty storms. There were some nice ones and uh, and a few exciting chases. Uh, just not enough. Never really is enough. Never really is enough. Um, but yeah, uh, catching a ride in Beth's Forerunner was pretty interesting. Um, a little hair raising a few times. I know how to drive. Be quiet. <laughs> that drives really, really well. <laughs> the child I has my that. finger nails in her dash proof. She drives really, really well. There are still handles on the, the O S H I, you know what, <laughs> holder. <laughs> that said, she even got me to stick her my head out her uh, sunroof while we were... Chasing a storm with lightning. Yeah. <laughs> Nice job. <laughs> Beth is uh, she's she's pretty good at uh, at the bad ideas. Yeah, but you notice I have the ideas. You actually do things. <laughs> <laughs> so Ryan, your turn. Favorite. How was My your turn. season? I had a fun season. Could have been more storms, but you know, um, 2013 was still for me was by far my most active. I've had quite a while, but. Um, Every storm I had for me was funny. It was between um, Cardiff to Oxbow to Pipestone, literally every single time except for one time when I went to Vibank, which was the first time I got to test out the hail on Farmer on the Stormfinder, where we had we had um, blasted by a monster hail. It's the first time I on purposely drove into a core. <laughs> <laughs> That's always a fun experience. Oh yeah, yeah. We got to see how loud it was, you know, with all the armor getting bounced on and stuff. Which of course, ironically. It, it, it worked really well. Um, the funny thing was, uh, me and the driver, I had a different driver that day because uh, Brand Crane, my normal driver, couldn't make it. And when the uh, when the hail started, like, we could see it coming. So I'm like, ran out. We have to pull up the side windows. And, of course, we each get hit by a hailstone <laughs> while putting on the hail armor. So, cool. and so key in fact, you know, put it on before the hail. <laughs> I was going to say, so are we adjusting that process for 2016? Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, but... But then again, I am also the guy that walked through the side of the hail rack and scratched my head, so I, I'm sure it'll, I'm sure it'll keep happening. <laughs> <laughs> That's what helmets are made for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the back seat, you know. yeah. I have these special glasses though, but I can't show them on the live feed. <laughs> no, you have to now. You can't say that and no, not show no. it. They're, they're in the truck, so maybe I'll message you later with the picture. You said special glasses. <laughs> yeah, special glasses. You can't talk about special glasses with me on the line and not show them. <laughs> wait, wait, no, you don't you. have yours on either, Chris. Oh, uh, that's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> it was a it was a it was a fun year. Um, had some pretty interesting experiences, you know. You know, with with the whole process of getting the truck. So Chris um, is so hurt that she talked about glasses <laughs> that he just left. He just ran to get it, man. <laughs> Me, mine's about half an hour out, so I can't just get up and go because I won't be back in time. <laughs> you maybe should have said that before he took off. <laughs> Twenty-five minutes later. He's gonna be expecting glasses. <laughs> <laughs> so Ryan, this was your first season with with your new Pathfinder completely rigged out. Am I? If I'm. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> so this was your first season with. <laughs> This was your first season with with your new uh, Storm Pathfinder being completely uh, finished, if I'm correct, right? How, yeah. What was the what was that process like for you, and what were some of the things improvements that you made to it over last year? Well, we we uh, well, Brad and Crane um, most most of the work. I he he built the stuff, and I just helped him out when he needed probably well over a hundred hours we put into it. Um, with uh, you know building building the the frame for the armor, attaching the armor, figuring out a way to work. So we kept changing the way of the shape, adding the Lexon. Uh, we put a hail rack on the roof, you know, that pulls out, which we're still in the works. Is the clamps are 50-50. So it's it's probably one of those things that we'll be keep tweaking for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> but when it worked, it worked perfectly fine. 
Is it coming to ChaserCon, Canada? Yes. 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 Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Should be able to show it off. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Because Minitor isn't coming, right, Chris? Uh, I might be bringing Minitor. Nice. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna have quite a few there, I think. We're gonna have Dominator three. Uh, Brian Morrisos bringing his. Uh, Ryan's bringing his. Uh, mm -hmm. Can't think of anybody else off the top of my head. <laughs> Which is really why I couldn't resist to bring mine. No, exactly. You gotta, you gotta fit in. You have to show it off. Does it? Are you gonna keep the hail, the hail stuff on it? No, I don't know if I want to be driving 700 kilometers with the hail stuff in its current state on there. Well, but you're going to be doing that next year. Well, What's the finish current... off a little bit more next year. <laughs> it was pretty thrown together from Beakerhead. You know what? If an astronaut could stand on it. He was pretty wobbly on it. <laughs> <laughs> What's the current state yeah. of the hail guard? Yeah. Um, it's very it, well. It's it's uh, a couple of bent tube with uh, zip tied uh, spread uh, expanded uh, steel. Very very loose. <laughs> very loose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it looks pretty good. It did look pretty good. It was pretty. Uh, it, 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 it looked nice for Beakerhead, but yeah, I don't want to be driving on the highway over long distances with it this year. Next year. It's like uh, you lose it. It's like all those semi trucks losing wheels. It'll be on the news, right? <laughs> the little bits of tail <laughs> yeah. on the highway. Hey, all promotions, good promotion. Eh? <laughs> all of a sudden, PDR will need to do something a little bit larger for the person behind you. <laughs> I don't think we can fix that. <laughs> <laughs> not without, not without fixing the paint. Oh, I gotta say, I was a bit worried about that astronaut going through the roof. <laughs> yeah. Did anyone else see that picture? Did any of you guys see that? I don't think no, so. I don't recall that actually. Would you Where like to tell that? the story, Chris? So we're at Beakerhead. Beakerhead is like a, a festival of science, art, and engineering in Calgary. Um, imagine uh, Burning Man light. Burning Man PG, um, <laughs> and uh, so we had myself, Beth, Braden, uh, and Kyle Britton, Vanessa Neufeld, Felix showed up, uh, parked on Stephen Avenue Mall in Calgary, downtown Calgary, showing off pictures, uh, the Predator was there, the Mini Tour was there, and Beakerhead has this mascot astronaut who walks around and just, you know, is generally fun. And uh, he decided that it would be generally fun to climb onto the hail guard of my car, which I guess it speaks well to how how well it looked. It looked like it could be climbed onto. Uh, meanwhile, there's about three or four of us screaming, "No, no, get off, get off!" Um, as the uh, as the hail was, or the, as the hail guard was bending in toward my sunroof. Your double nice sunroof. Hmm. Your double sunroofs. Yes, nice panoramic sunroof would have been great to get that astronaut right into the. Uh, Right into the back seat pretty quickly. Yeah, the whole thing, the whole car was like concave. <laughs> Convex. Whatever, I don't know my science. Whatever what that one is. Uh, in. So cave, in. right? Cave, yes, good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that was that was good. That was fun. Here it is. Can you see this? Oh, did the astronaut oh, car? Okay, yeah, I can make it out. Yeah, <laughs> black and white. He was being artsy, but <laughs> it's an artistic version. But it looks good. Yeah. I don't think there's any other shots of of it with him all the way on top. He was actually standing two feet on the roof. It was crazy. Yeah, and scary for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, Natani's here. Yes, we've got Natani Barasa on the on the call now. Good evening, Natani. Mm -hmm. Oh, we've got Natani's desk on the call. <laughs> I noticed that we all leaned in to try and read what was on the desk. <laughs> <laughs> what is it again? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, the pen is coffee. Here is water. <laughs> it's like I don't know. It's like an Andy Warhol exhibit going on down there. 
<laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll tell him his webcam's on the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> See if he gets that. Oh, no, I'm trying to switch the camera view. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Funny, come on. <laughs> well, at least you gave us something to look at. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> How's that? Well, it's not your water anymore. It's pretty dark. There we go. There we go. <laughs> we still got the water. There we go. Yeah, I oh, see it now. That was a good look. <laughs> I haven't washed ball. up yet. Is that for the zombie run? He got hit by a car earlier. That's <laughs> <laughs> what happens when your hail guard fails. <laughs> <laughs> Right on, guys. Are we ready for next weekend or what? I think we're more than ready for next weekend. Really, uh, really ready. <laughs> hey, there's the water. Yes. <laughs> I'm thirsty. <laughs> so how's life in uh, in Saskatchewan there for you, Natani? Excellent. Excellent. Very busy. Very busy this week. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the walk turned out. What? How the walk turned out. Awesome. I'm sure we probably had 300 people at least. Oh, right on. Right on. <laughs> did you guys see my pictures earlier? Not yet. Where did you put them? Just on Twitter. How much earlier? Uh, when I was there. <laughs> 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 uh, probably fun. around... Three o'clock, four o'clock maybe. Hmm. Oh wow! Just check them out; they're pretty gruesome. <laughs> you put that on your profile pic for Chaser Con. <laughs> uh, probably not. <laughs> but that may be the wrong sort of audience. <laughs> I didn't get oh, uh, a lot of blood off yet. <laughs> you should have worn that for the thing. <laughs> <laughs> That would have been pretty cool. Scare half the audience. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the, the media would have loved that, eh? And we wouldn't exactly. have commented on it. We would have just, <laughs> as if that was you. <laughs> totally normal. We wouldn't have brought it up once. <laughs> so, Natalia, so? you're, you're taking part in a, a panel at Chaser Cohen, if I'm correct, right? What panel is that? I've only been in, informed I'm in the panel of Storm Chasers, so I'm assuming that there'll be probably a table with three or four of us answering questions. I'm not sure exactly what that means yet. <laughs> yeah, that's about what it'll look like right now. I think we'll have we'll uh, fish out some questions to feed the audience for uh, this week. That'll be fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think there's going to be four, maybe five chasers from across Canada that will be on the panel. Braden's on there. Uh, Beth is on there. Maybe. Um, pardon me? Well, potentially. Maybe. <laughs> it, it, yeah, well, I think we'll have Beth on there for sure. <laughs> Brian's going to be on there. There'll be a lot of good to... experience, probably at least 25 years of experience. At... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, for people to question about. Oh, that'll be awesome! I think, uh, and really, what we want to do is try to get as many uh, as many people out there who want to ask questions and want to want to learn more about uh, about storm chasing. Yeah, it's really important to educate the public on what what we do and what's safe to do and how to do things properly and not endanger everyone. You know? Absolutely. Not just yourself, but people around you. You know. So it's going to be. I think it's a critical thing to do. Uh, the prairies, Canadian prairies, more people are getting interested in storm chasing and despite Environment Canada's uh, stance on, uh, you know, they condone the activity but uh, they can condone it all they want, it's still going to happen and we need 
somebody to show them how to do it in a safe way that keeps everyone safe and still do their job as just, you know, storm spotting and reporting properly and stuff. So I, I'm really looking forward to this conference. This mm -hmm. No, very good point. Yes, we learned that this summer, those of you who chased in and around Calgary, that people don't really, people think they can chase, but they don't really know what they're doing, especially in large areas where there's yeah. lots of traffic I, and overpasses to hide under still. I've seen that. That still happens. I can't believe that still happens. It's like, no matter how much we try to tell people to do that, they still do it. And I was like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Ryan and I have perfect video footage of that by uh, Sturgis, South Dakota, right, yeah. Ryan? It's like June 1st or 4th or something. Yeah, end up on the Weather Channel because we, we couldn't get to the storm. Everyone else did that was on the way to the past the Sutter Pass. But all the people who got to the storm, none of their pictures ended up on TVRs did because we had the footage of everyone going underneath the other pass. The other pass flooding out, and <laughs> everyone had to yeah. get out of there. <laughs> we just sat and watched because we couldn't get nowhere else. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. So is Chris live? Or me? Oh, yeah, I hadn't seen you move. <laughs> I wasn't <laughs> sure. <laughs> Is that his avatar or is he actually there? <laughs> uh, cool. Can't wait to meet everyone. It's going to be gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, it is. So what about you guys, Joshua? We haven't heard from your, your, uh, your summer. Uh, our summer was pretty interesting. Um, it started out a little... Well, actually, it started out pretty interesting. Late June, uh, early July, we had a couple of chases. Nothing super major. Um, and really, after that, it got pretty quiet in around uh, southern Saskatchewan for the most part. It was pretty spotty. I think and Tani and Ryan can attest to this, that uh, really a lot of our focus wound up either being in Manitoba or... Yeah, just the occasional pop-up storm that would come up in southern Saskatchewan. Um, there was one day that was quite interesting um, where Regina did actually get a direct hit from a severe storm uh, that was a bit of a surprise storm, actually. And uh, we were chasing, I was chasing that day. And that storm came up so quickly, actually, I was in a bad position to get on it. We got on it for a little while and it dissipated. It was pretty short-lived, but it was actually quite fascinating just how quickly it formed and how literally how it formed right straight west of Regina and went right through Regina and literally 15, 20 minutes later it dispersed. So that was, you, so anybody, any storm enthusiast in Regina who was complaining about Regina not getting the thunderstorm really didn't have anything to complain about at that point anymore. Um, uh, beyond that, uh, we, we had a couple of interesting uh, chases, but nothing really super major or long-lasting. Long um, it seemed like a lot of this year, uh, it, this year was really characterized as far as thunderstorms were concerned at, with, it was basically filled with pulse storms uh, yeah. that really didn't amount to anything, obviously, and and that was a little frustrating, I think, to say the least, but we made the most of, of our opportunities, but yeah, I would say much like what uh, Beth was saying earlier about the the season in in Alberta, that it was just kind of there was some excitement, uh, but it never really amounted to anything. Well, one thing I noticed this year was the storms were really colorful. Um, like I, when I was in Cardiff, it was actually my last chase using my car, and uh, we I think we caught a well, we caught a wall cloud. Uh, I was chasing kind of alongside with Craig Bohm. And uh, beautiful wall cloud. It would have been a perfect place for tornado because the sunset was in the backdrop and stuff. And the Mimatis clouds were probably like the nicest I've seen in Saskatchewan in like years. Like every every chase, whether they were big or small, I, I, for me anyways, I found them very very, you know, like photo photo esque and nice nicely structured. Whether it was ten minutes or an hour, I don't know how you guys figured out about, but. Uh, we definitely had some some a few very photogenic storms. Yeah. Like just three. not enough. <laughs> yeah, not yeah. even close to enough. <laughs> no, no, never enough. 
<laughs> Although Regina, there was a storm. I was chasing just just southwest, no, southeast of Regina. Sorry, there's a cat here. <laughs> um, and it had the coolest funnel I've ever seen in my entire life. It was like a wormhole funnel. I don't know if any of you guys saw that on Twitter. I'm trying to remember. I, I, I can remember. vaguely remember that I day. I may have been chasing that day. <laughs> it was like a terrible, there was really no storm to speak of, except that this thing, as it died, was... The, the weirdest funnel cloud I've ever seen. It was oh, kind of like sneaking you were, out of the cloud, right? That was by Saskatoon, wasn't that? Oh, maybe it was. was. All I know is I it, was by, it was by Allen. That's the only place, because my last name. Yeah. I totally <laughs> remember that now. Yeah. You know what? It's it's Saskatchewan. They're like, you know, whatever. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I know they're not. <laughs> we just weren't in Saskatchewan enough this year. I was uh, fortunate to choose in Alberta a couple of times this year when I was uh, participating in the Terminus Festival uh, during the daytime when everybody else was sleeping off their uh, alcohol. I was out storm chasing, so I got to participate in a couple of chases. I was really happy to do that. It yeah, so I, don't, I don't know how you did that. <laughs> and then at night I did uh, Northern Lights, too. Yeah. yeah. That's because yeah, you're, you're crazy. <laughs> you were trying to get us all, all out that evening as well. Oh, yeah. When I left Calgary uh, on the way back to Manitoba, there was Northern Lights. It really brilliant, and I could see it right on the tip, right uh, right at the last lights heading west. I'm sorry, heading east on number one highway. The last lights of Calgary. You can see the Northern Lights. They're super bright. It was like, yes! So I had to pull <laughs> over. And, that was and on your course, way to... Sorry, go ahead. I've delayed my uh, departure to to get to Manitoba, <laughs> but uh, fortunately, uh, things didn't happen in Manitoba as quickly as I thought they were going to, so uh, we had some time to rest uh, by Alameda there. <laughs> For four or five hours. Oh, my God. <laughs> so much resting. <laughs> Man, it was great. I actually got to get some sleep. <laughs> <laughs> It was, was you know, chasing, chasing on Alberta, and then I went to the concert all night long until about 2.30, and then I left, got out of Calgary at about 3.15, and then the, shot the Northern Lights, and then <laughs> drove, to, drove to Regina. I was trying to meet up with uh, the Weather Network uh, correspondent from Calgary and see if they wanted to go storm chasing, and uh, she ended up getting her own crew, so I said, okay, fine. <laughs> 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 But she got there. That's Carmen. impressive. <laughs> oh, and when I was about, uh, I, I was about five kilometers from uh, Weber before I had to sleep. I, I couldn't go anymore. I just had to sleep, and it was blue skies anyway. So it was just a matter of time of waiting for the 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 cap to pop and the and the moisture to move in from the southwest. So uh, it was good. That was a chase I won't forget. <laughs> nice. And that was, I think, the largest Canadian chaser convergence we've had ever until a week from now. <laughs> yeah. We'll yeah, have to put a spotter network on. Yeah. <laughs> like eight dots instead of six. <laughs> <laughs> All on top of each other. No one will know the dots. Yeah, the, the like, what's going on there? I don't see that. I was like, what am I right now? <laughs> yeah, if there's any type of severe weather in Regina next weekend, it will be the most well-covered weather event in Saskatchewan yeah. history. Uh, yeah, um, it will be everywhere. Did anything but... happen in Manitoba today? Sorry? I was looking at the like, levels. Uh, I was looking. Did anything happen in Manitoba today? Or no, I saw your post be... about that yesterday, but I, I've been totally oblivious to weather activity today, so I don't know if anything happened I think there. earlier on in the day they had some thunderstorms go through, if I'm not mistaken. I was just checking yeah, where it was. There was some pretty nice weather around Regina at about 7 in the morning when I was up, and I thought, okay, well, this is the stuff that's going to trigger off in Manitoba later. The lift of embassies were about negative 4, and we had a cape of around, you know, 1,000 to 1,200 in there, and I was just kind of hoping maybe the cap would bust and have some action, but I didn't hear anything because I was at the zombie walk. I didn't see anything come up on Twitter or anything like that. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> I always say Manitoba's the place that storms go to die. 
but uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. definitely 2013, 14. Every single chase that enter in Manitoba, it'd be like the storm would be going here, hit the Manitoba border, and just dissolve. <laughs> uh, you guys will have to ask that question of uh, of Justin when he's presenting. <laughs> Do what he thinks. <laughs> Why is it? Why? <laughs> it's just that border. That invisible border. <laughs> yeah, that's a border shield they have. <laughs> you keep all the two good tornadoes. <laughs> Man. So how close were you to that, to that tornado in, uh, I think it was July 27th or 28th? How close did you get there, uh, Ryan? Uh, we were we were on the highway. What is it, 256 or whatever it was? And we could see it from the different distance. Uh, we we were actually waiting. Uh, we were definitely a good two, three, four miles out of it. Um, we could like, I, I think I got like video at the moment because I my feed was going in and off, so I was getting bad data coverage. At the moment, I wasn't even sure what it was. Uh, I could hear like the big roar. Too, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, uh, Justin got us. Um, it was, it was just a, a bookmark link. We just kept hitting F5 to refresh, but somewhere in the states that was showing were you know good enough that we were until we had our coverage back. So I only have like maybe six seconds of actual video, and then when I look back later and looked at the data, I'm like I'm like holy that was you know <laughs> that, was, that was a tornado crossing the road because that's yeah. what we come down the road and we found the house or the yard that was hit and that's where the, uh, the right bridge there. was. Right yeah, you there. were like on the next, the next uh, uh, road, I think. Yeah, it was it's like right like, up there, right watching the whole thing. <laughs> that wall, that wall uh, must be between the two of us. I was watching it probably to the west, and you were probably looking at it to the east. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. yeah. Next year, Chris, you'll be there. Next year for me, Manitoba. Yeah, you'll get one. <laughs> It'll happen. On your vacation week, so that you have nothing else to worry about. <laughs> yes, I gotta do that again. Booking <laughs> off a week of vacation is the best thing ever for yeah. storm chasing. In July. You're in July. Mm-hmm. Third or fourth week of July. Yes, uh, and you, you know, you just let us there, know eh? what week it is, because the week. Then you'll take off the opposite week. week. It's a good week. <laughs> <laughs> so take opposing weeks. <laughs> yeah. Just make sure it's covered. Exactly. Yeah. Oh man, that Canadian dollar is really sinking bad. I mean, I'm not sure if I'm going to go next year I'll because, like, <laughs> look at it. Like, the good news is we've got like ten months for it to get better, though, right? We're talking about <laughs> <laughs> having to wait a while, you know. <laughs> That long months watching the coin drop, eh? <laughs> it will get better. It will get better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so just to recap... Sorry, Beth. No, go ahead. I wasn't going to say anything of any value whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> so just a, a recap for anybody tuning in or whatever. We're just about out of time, but uh, ChaserCon Canada uh, next weekend. Uh, Chris, I believe you said there is an event Saturday night, correct? Correct. Yeah, we'll have a, uh, like uh, Beth said, we'll have a storm porn uh, show and tell Saturday night, and uh, that should be a heck of a blast. Um, but anybody and everybody who wants to come, please join. Don't worry if you're, a, if you're a regular storm chaser or if you're even just a weather enthusiast. If you're interested at all in severe weather or storm chasing, come to this event. It's going to be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, I think. On Friday. And then everything gets going on uh, Sunday morning, uh, starting off with uh, Reed Timmer, I believe, right? And then Justin right. Hobson, and then uh, a whole bunch of great panelists as well following that. Absolutely. Um, so, so I was going to uh, say if anybody's uh, not doing anything on Friday night, Tune into 91.3 FM CJT where I'm on the air, man. <laughs> <laughs> and then after that, um, if, if you guys want, um, if the Northern Lights are out, you're more than welcome to come with me to the go see the Northern Lights and take some photos. Awesome. For, for those who don't know, Tanya's the weather Jedi of Saskatchewan. <laughs> Especially with Northern Lights. Monster. It seems like 
at least once a week, I wake up and check my Twitter feed, and oh, Natani's been out shooting Northern yeah. Lights again. <laughs> <laughs> With a light yeah. paper. The yeah, last weather. <laughs> we need to get Chris and Natani shooting the same Northern Lights. The universe will probably like <laughs> self destruct. <laughs> 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 Cool. All right. Well, <laughs> thank you guys all for joining us tonight for this chat. Uh, can't wait for next weekend. Can't come soon enough. Uh, look forward to uh, seeing you all there. And uh, for anybody watching, if you haven't got your tickets yet, be sure to go to chaserconcanada.ca. You can get your tickets on there and get more information as well. Uh, if you missed anything on the show, we'll have the recording right up on YouTube for you. Uh, thank you to all of our guests uh, tonight, and look forward to talking to you all at uh, ChaserCon. We'll continue some of these great uh, conversations and reflections. Awesome. Thank all, you right. Right. Thank you guys. Awesome. all right. Thanks, guys. Have a good night. We'll talk to you later. See ya. Good night. See ya.